But speaking of another veteran, over 30 years through a number of administrations, Vietnam era veteran David Contreras has been home only to fight his government for what is only fairly due to him. Kevin George helps veterans like David have a voice here on the next um, Vet Hunters segment. This is the story of Vietnam-era veteran David Contreras, who served as a tank crewman in the U.S. Marines until 1973. For more than 30 years, David has been battling the VA and trying to find out what happened to the disability pension awarded him in 1982, then inexplicably taken away in 1984. In 1982, David was diagnosed with testicular cancer and admitted to the VA hospital in Long Beach, California. During his surgery, the doctors decided to remove all of David's lymph nodes throughout his body. When David woke up, he was stunned to learn that the surgery had left him with more than 350 metal staples in his abdomen and chest. To make matters worse, he was told that some of the blood transfusions necessary during the surgery were tainted with hepatitis B and C. The hepatitis caused his liver to start failing. After more than a year on the donor list, David finally got a liver transplant in 2011. For more than 30 years, David has repeatedly contacted and appealed to the VA. He asked one question that is still unanswered today. Why was his disability pension based on hearing impairment taken away? The responses from the VA are just baffling. They say his appeal was denied because they had no further evidence of prostate cancer. Keep in mind that David has been unable to work and support his family his entire life. The original pension called for David to receive little more than $800 per month. Last July, at a Veterans Forum event in Azusa sponsored by Congresswoman Grace Napolitano, we thought we would finally get some answers. Robert McKendrick, director of the West LA VA, along with assistant director Shalia Jackson, spoke to veterans and answered questions. I personally spoke on David's behalf and outlined his 30-year journey in trying to get some of the answers as to why was the VA denying his appeal based on a medical condition he never had and in no way was related to his hearing loss. In front of a packed crowd, Mr. McKendrick told me he would take a personal interest in David's case, saying he was all about accountability. He also said it in a meeting with, private, with Congresswoman Napolitano, who told us she'd be tracking David's progress. Well, it's been eight months since that meeting and we've learned that it's apparently business as usual at the West LA VA. Still no explanation of what happened to David's disability pension that vanished into thin air more than three decades ago. To add insult to injury, Mr. McKendrick has not returned one phone call or agreed to meet in person so that we can show him the documents David has collected since 1982 in support of his case that somehow the VA can't seem to locate on their end. There has even been numerous congressional inquiries by Congresswoman Napolitano asking for a meeting to no avail. In March of last year, I went with David and his family to the West LA VA to file an 1151 case asking for financial support related to the hepatitis David contracted through the tainted blood given to him during his surgery. We just received a reply last week denying his request. The reason that they gave us was that the hepatitis was likely caused by lifestyle choices. This would be a funny story if it wasn't so sad. The people hired to take care of our veterans are playing games with their lives. What I find poignant about this story is that I'm sure that both Robert McKendrick along with Shalia Jackson check their bank accounts on the first of every month to make sure that they got their paycheck. For more than 30 years, David Contreras has been waiting for a check. Here's hoping these folks will get off their duffs and help David and so many other veterans in his situation. I'm Kevin George for the Vet Hunters Project. Back to you, Sunita and Mary. Well, I am glad David has someone like Kevin I uh, am fighting too. for him. And he will fight. Because yeah. it is baffling that it's, they it's should horrible. go through this. It's horrible. Well, lightening things up a little bit, learning chess is on my bucket list. I don't know about yours. And Cerise Griffith is here with her chess sets to show us a little bit about um, playing chess. Let's do it. <laughs>